Here back with you guys again at the sneaker review and pickup. Uh, before I jump into the review, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you to all my subscribers who have been loyal to me and uh, stayed following me. And shout out to my new subscribers. I really appreciate y'all. If y'all haven't seen my other videos, check them out. Uh, my Air Jordan 8 Peapod just hit a thousand views. It's my first video with a thousand views. I really appreciate it. Um, keep sharing my videos. Keep liking them. Keep showing love to me. Show support. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway pretty soon. I know I've been saying that, but I have my event coming up. So after my event, we'll see how things are doing. And if you can make it out to my event, August 18th, Kicks and Cuts at Corpus Christi, Texas, definitely come through and show some love. Um, you know, besides that, let's go ahead and jump into the review. We have a 2006 Fire Red 3s. Um, the difference between this 3 and the 3 that just dropped on Saturday is that the 3 that dropped on Saturday has a tumble leather tongue. Unlike the 2006 pair, they have a smooth leather tongue. Uh, everyone knows that this pair came with a retro card. Most importantly, let's jump into the shoe, what we came here for. Alright, starting with the outsole, you have a classic Air Jordan 3 outsole with the red, gray, and white. Working your way to the midsole, you have a red and white midsole. You have black elephant print on the front and the back. A white smooth leather mudguard. A white tumbled leather upper white tumbled leather toe box, red uh, perforated leather, gray perforated leather, red eyelets along with white eyelets as well. On the tongue you have a gray perforated leather running up the tongue, uh, white smooth leather on the top, red jump man, you have white laces as well. On the back of the tongue you have a red fabric, a gray inner lining, and a red insole. On the back of the heel, you have a white heel tab. Well, mine is a little more yellow now. Uh, with the red jump man and red in air. Or air and red. Um, it's really a quick overview of the shoe. Nothing too crazy. It's a very iconic shoe. Very hard to uh, sleep on. I'm glad I found this pair. I actually traded my Olympic ones for this pair. Uh, very good deal, in my opinion. But, uh,. This, I had, the only thing though, is I had to repaint all this, so I'm going to go ahead and show you a before and after pics right after this review, and that's pretty much it guys, check out the close-ups of the shoe, and take it easy, peace. Fresh up in this cockpit. 